Hi there, boys and girls. I'm here with our friends Lucy the Ladybug and Charlie Brown for our nonfiction selection. Oh, Mrs. Neve, is it about ladybugs? Ladybugs are mentioned in it. Uh, how about praying mantises, like my friend Manty here? There are praying mantises in it, too. Oh, wonderful. How about scorpions, like my friend Scorpy? Well, they do talk about arachnids, about spiders, but I'm afraid there's no mention of scorpions. Oh, that's okay. Well, what book are we going to look at today, Mrs. Neve? Let's see. It is called On Beyond Bugs, All About Insects. Oh, wow, cool. Wait a minute, Mrs. Neve. I thought you said this was nonfiction. I, I see the cat in the hat. Well, it's true. The cat in the hat is fiction. Um, it's a made-up story by Dr. Seuss, but all of the words in this book are true facts about bugs. Oh, okay. Well, I'll come over here and listen with Lucy. I'm, I really like bugs now. You know, God is helping me, me to be strong and brave. Excellent, Charlie Brown. On Beyond Bugs, All About Insects. Well, let's take a look at the title page, because I know you'd expect it to be by Dr. Seuss, because you see the cat in the hat on there, but it's not. Let's see who the author is. On Beyond Bugs, by Tish Rabe. So, a different author, but Tish had permission to use the cat in the hat. It's illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. Okay. Now, this book, as I mentioned, is true facts about insects, and I know we have learned a lot about insects. Uh, you might even consider yourself an entomologist. An entomologist is a scientist who studies insects, just like an arachnologist studies arachnids. So entomologist friends, you will be reminded of some facts you've already learned about insects, but there are some new facts for you to learn too, and I think you'll find quite interesting. So here we go. It is a rhyming book, just like the cat in the hat. I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait, and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Sounds kind of like the cat in the hat. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. They have wings and can fly, and they all have six legs. So let's take a look. at These are insects that we have learned about, aren't they? The praying mantis. Uh, that's for you, Charlie Brown, just like Manti. We read about them yesterday. Mm, butterflies. We've learned a lot about butterflies. Ooh, the ladybug. Lucy, there you go. Grasshopper. And here we've got the black ant. Bing, bing, spelling word, black. Mm -hmm. Spiders aren't insects. The news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has eight. Yes, they are a different group of animals. Arachnids. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its body's in parts, and each insect has three. First the head, then the thorax, and at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. You knew that. And this is a cricket. Ah, oh, we learned about crickets, didn't they? They might keep you up at night. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look like a thin piece of thread, while others look more like feathers instead. Remember we learned about that, the way to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Butterflies have the thread-like antenna, and moths have the feathery antenna. And moths are nocturnal. They're active at night. Let's see, what do they have for us on this leaf here? We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name, antennae. Yep, you can call the feelers antenna. Mm -hmm. Watch an insect and see all the things that it does. Some can swim, jump, or crawl. Others chirp 
flash or buzz. So you've got, here's your diving beetle as one of those swimming insects, one of the thousands of different kinds of beetles. Ooh, the dog flea. They are excellent jumpers, yeah. And you're, I'm sure your dog doesn't appreciate that though. Ooh, crawl. Here we've got a pipe vine caterpillar, which you know the caterpillar is the larva of the butterfly. Uh, of course, the cricket, we just saw them. They are the ones that chirp. And uh, the firefly can flash. And the bumblebee, of course, is one that buzzes. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them. So insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. Some, like this wasp, have bright colors that say, don't come near me, I'll sting you, so just stay away. This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it is resting upon that so no one can see it. Mm. So some of the ways God helps insects to hide from predators, right? The wasp, the bright colors, warn the insect, warn the other animals, I might bite you. And of course there's the camouflage. This is an underwing moth. This spittle bug sits as he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered with bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks nobody's home. <laughs> ah, yes, the spittle bug can hide in its own spit. I'm glad we can't do that. But good protection from the birds, huh? Here is a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk and a ladybug like one another? Hmm. When danger is near, it is easy to tell. They suddenly give off a terrible smell. Now that's something we didn't know about ladybugs, huh? One of their defenses that God gives them is they can give off a bad smell and that will make predators go away. Mm. Something that smells that bad can't taste good, right? But let me tell you something else about the ladybugs, too. They're bright colors, kind of like the insect we saw just a couple of pages back. Ooh, where did it go? Ah, yes. Yes, the wasp. The bright colors of the ladybug also warn predators that they don't taste good. These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong, they can lift things that weigh over 10 times their weight, and they do it all day. So, if you were as strong as an ant, you would see you could lift up 10 cats in tall hats easily. Wow, yes, it's amazing. For their size, Ants are extremely strong. Yeah. Can you imagine being able to lift up 10 cats in the hat? They're in their hats. Watch these honeybees, and I'm sure you'll agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food, and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. She must stay in one place, it is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. Ah, yes, we learned about bees, that they are social insects, aren't they? They live together in a hive. Like ants are social insects, too, that live together, and they have different jobs to do. Pretty cool. <laughs> There's the queen bee getting waited on. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. First she wiggles, then waggles, in circles and so. All the other bees know which direction to go. Now there's an interesting fact. That's how bees can communicate with each other. God hasn't given them language like we have. We can talk to each other and could say something like, hey, there's good food over here but they don't use words, they do a dance. 
<laughs> to let the other bees know where they can find some good food. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in back of their knees. This dust is called pollen. Next flower they find, when they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. This is called pollination, and it makes the new seeds that grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. Absolutely. Yes, we learned about that too, didn't we? Pollination, an important job God has given insects to do. Without it, we wouldn't have the flowers, we wouldn't have the fruits. Mm. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Wow, that's something to think about. Fleas, if you were as good a jumper as a flea, you'd be able to jump over a house. Wow. Yeah, for their size, for the little tiny fleas, they're really good jumpers. Have you ever wondered why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings so fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound you can hear in your ear, and this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. You've probably heard them before, and we've talked about this, haven't we? Here's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky. Ah, you might recall we learned about that, didn't we? That's why flies can walk on a ceiling. Sticky feet. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land, and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Mm, there's a fun fact. If you get bitten this summer by a mosquito, you can know it was a girl. It was a female mosquito. The boys don't bite. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, and then one day they change. Some spin a small house on a branch just like this, and this home that they make is called a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. Here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. You knew that, huh? Yeah, we've learned a lot of interesting things about butterflies. You'll have to observe them this summer when you're out playing. Look for the butterflies. Look for the caterpillars. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. They are like tiny flashlights that float in the sky. And if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with a lid, watch them glimmer and glow, then open the jar up and let them all go. So that might be another fun thing to do one summer night. Uh, summer's coming up, right? See if you can catch some fireflies. Put them in a jar to observe them for a while, but then be sure to let them go. So beautiful. All day and all night, on the ground, in the air, Insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. It's true. God has a plan for insects, doesn't he? Indeed. What'd you think, Charlie Brown? Oh, I thought it was really cool, Mrs. Neve. Me too, Mrs. Neve. And I'm sorry about the, the bad smell part. That's okay. I haven't noticed a thing, Lucy. Thank you, Mrs. Neve. Well, boys and girls, always remember, be strong and brave. That's right. And remember, too, God has a plan. Just like he has a plan for insects, he has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. Bye. We love you.